And good afternoon and welcome to the Podcast Studios Small Business Podcast with me, Chris Dabbs. Now, today we've got someone special. Yep, she is. She's special in all sorts of ways. Well, in nice ways, of course. Her name's Lainey. And actually, hang on a second. Let's get her to do the usual and introduce herself. So, Lainey, go ahead. Introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Lainey the Life Genie. And yes, I'm doing my very first podcast today with you. Oh, don't be nervous. I am a virgin to podcasts. No, don't don't worry about it. No, look, listen, this is your first podcast. So now you've just got to enjoy it. Yes. I will. It's, it's easy. Yes. See, look, I'm just talking and there you go. So Lainey's actually here, obviously, on her first podcast to talk about something that she's put together for small businesses. Now, it's really quite interesting. And obviously, I could yak on for ages about it. But what's the point? Let's get you to introduce it. Now, I think it's called the COG system. Is that right? That's right. Yes. So is that because there are cogs in it or does the COG stand for something? It doesn't stand for something. It's literally because um, they all link together. There's the cog system itself is in parts and because they all kind of link together and one part doesn't really function unless the other parts are there. So I just thought it reminded me of cogs. Oh, OK. Hmm. So, it, yeah, so it is basically cogs. Right. Yeah. Got, gotcha. So it's a marketing system. Is that right? Or a sales system or what? It's kind of um, mm, a little bit of both, I suppose. It's um, it's to increase your sales and um, to attract more clients and is it helps you with how to market your business. So it is a bit of everything, really. Oh, really? Mm. Oh, that, hang on. That I've sounds... never been asked that before. Uh, <laughs> intriguing. <laughs> well, it sounds interesting because obviously businesses have to market themselves. Mm -hmm. They have to sell themselves. Uh, and people do have trouble doing that if they're a small business, a really tiny micro business. Yes. Is that the sort of market that you're looking to work with? Definitely. It's, it's actually aimed at specifically sole traders. However, it can work with other small businesses, um, mainly uh, mainly for anyone that's in a transformation business. So by that, I mean, if there's an obvious before and after, then this would definitely work. And that's it might work for other businesses as well. I've not looked that far ahead. Um, but for part of because of one part of the system in particular, before and afters are quite congruent to the system. So anything, for example, like a body transformation, weight loss transformation, um, house renovations, furniture restorations, even I, I suppose even things like hairdressing, you know, if there's a before and after or uh, a beauty, you know, there, there's numerous things that could be even if there's a. Um, Sometimes a visual before and after is the best way because in photographs could be involved. Okay, okay, okay. Hang on a second. Uh, <laughs> right, so it's, and then you're getting into the nitty gritty. Yes, yeah, so, sorry. Okay, so let's, let's just go back a bit and talk about this, this interesting term you've used, a transformation business. Yes. So let's have a think about that. Now, you mentioned, um, well, you said hairdressers, for instance, mm -hmm. right? I can see that. So beforehand, you go in and your hair looks in one way and you come out and you you've been fabulous. transformed. Yes. Yeah. And, and you look fabulous. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you're talking about, say, builders maybe, when they're coming in? Absolutely. So, for example, if you've got a new kitchen. Right. Um, so you'd obviously have the before kitchen. doesn't look very great. And then you get this fabulous, wonderful, um, you know, transformation in your home that you're quite proud of. So that would be a bit, an obvious transformation. Um, probably the most popular is body transformations or weight loss transformations because they're a bit of a wow factor. Yeah. And as we all know, a picture can say a thousand words. So okay. without saying the thousand words, the picture does it for you. Okay. So let's have a think about, um, I don't know, what personal trainers may be at the exactly. gym. Exactly. Yeah. Personal trainers are, um, are, are massive. It would be wonderful for them. Um, anyone in the diet industry or weight loss transformations, yeah. um, Health um, improvement on health is quite a difficult one to actually visually see unless it's an obvious thing. Um, so mainly things like a physical appearance change yeah. um, are the best ones ever. But then there's also other categories, you could say, for objects like houses, um, new windows and doors or um, a piece of furniture that's been restored or oh, okay. right. you know, there's, there's nice things like that that can also be 
of, uh, relevant to them. Yeah. Okay, so it sounds to me as if this is looking to to help people who, as you say, have a transformative business mm-hmm. where something comes in in a in a particular state, so state A, and it leaves in state B. Exactly. And are you looking to tell the story of that transformation in, from A to B? Um, I suppose yeah. The the storytelling comes from just the pictures. Right. So it's very much um, before and after. There is along the way another part which goes through the feelings uh, um, without revealing too much yeah, too yeah. soon mm. to you because I don't want to bombard you. D- no, don't uh, confuse me. I won't. <laughs> um, but yes, it will all make sense um, as we go along today. Okay. Um, however, it's the, the visual transformation is what... It is what you basically see. And then from that, that's when the referrals come in and testimonials and what attracts more clients to you without okay. you having to do anything. So gotcha. you're not doing anything. No, your no. clients do it with you. Okay. So the referrals are when your existing clients suggest to another person that they would be, um, it would be in their interest to talk to you for whatever reason. So selling your services really it is without selling. Exactly that. And that's the the key thing that I need to definitely get across is that it's kind of promoting you without selling you. Mm. Yeah, um, exactly. Because most people find that really icky and uncomfortable. Yeah. And that's why I created this system is to take lots of icky uncomfortable bits that are expected of some business owners and I've taken them away and made it really beautiful nice and yummy okay yeah i see i I understand what you mean um years and years and years ago right talking about me here for a second right so uh, so that people could understand when i i used to work for this huge massive american corporation in financial services right so i used to sell life insurance basically and pensions and all Mm. that sort of jazz now it's all very useful and all very good and everything else but what they made us do because we were too scared to pick up the telephone and make sales because everyone's scared to pick up the telephone and make sales we were too scared to uh you know do anything that's sort of silly and so they got us to talk to our friends and family and to try and get them to come on board as clients and then once they came on board as clients to try and network i guess through their own families and friendship groups so that this referral thing is happening now that all sounds really good and it sounds fantastic and it sounds like what everyone should be doing with their business yeah you know get your friends and family to use it but for us at least it was really tough because we were just pushing and pushing and pushing so what you're saying is that your system would work kind of like that but no one's pushing anybody no one's pushing anyone and the nice thing about it is um one of my huge pet hates is when you see people doing classic things gloriously wrong on Facebook right and it's such a repellent they're actually repelling potential clients away oh right so you're talking about their marketing on Facebook oh, but it's, doing it's it horrendous in a, uh, oh, oh explain give, oh give us my an example. goodness me it absolutely drives me nuts right. I can't stand it oh my gosh come on yeah, tell me I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I hope you don't do this <laughs> oh, oh, oh no now I, uh, yeah go, okay I'll let you know halfway through go on so basically you in for example network marketing so the first edition of Cog System is going to be probably aimed at, geared to network marketing companies. Okay, can, and they're the people that sort of keep their marketing uh, very personal, I guess, rather than advertising greatly on billboards or television. Yeah, it's, it's more, a lot of it is done online and on Facebook, but you do get people, you know, that hand out flyers and, you know, um, newspaper adverts and in the community posters, etc. So that there is still the traditional marketing methods used. Okay. But a lot of it is also done online. And the problem is... The reason network marketers are quite often hated, and I don't say that lightly, but they are. Poor network marketers. Poor network marketers. No, <laughs> yeah. But the reason they're hated so badly, um, or any, you know, when I'm when I'm saying network marketers, I'm talking about any at home small business or okay. a multi level marketing business, ah. and you often find. In your local community groups, if you're um, on Facebook and you might be part of a local community group, they will actually say in their rules, um, no sales and no this Ah, and no that. I've seen that. Yes. yes, Right. And the reason they do that is because they hate how they normally um, go about their business and bombarding people on Facebook with salesy, horrendous, awful 
um, join my team, right. buy this product. Would you like an extra income? Uh, and I've heard that too. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's it's just awful. It's it's just the epitome of over. And the, the, the unfortunate thing about it is these people genuinely just want to make an extra bit of income to help with maybe their families or their friends or their circumstances, but they go about it in such an awful way that they actually end up not becoming very successful at all. And as an outcome to that, they end up thinking, well, that was rubbish, that that business didn't work. And it's not that at all. Usually the products or the company they're working with is is very good. It's just that their marketing was very bad. Well, of course. I mean, at the end of the day, no one is a marketing expert straight out of the bag or bat no. or whatever, are they? You know, how would anybody know if you've worked in an office for 15 years? Exactly. Or you might be uh, a mummy. You know, yeah. you've just had little kids and you want to start earning a little bit of money, get your confidence back or going back to the workplace. Or, you know, like you said, you've maybe been in a different industry or college or university and unless you've done some sort of business marketing or a business course, then you're not going to know these things. Exactly. And you probably just follow suit with what other people are doing who may have a level of success, but it's so repelling and repulsively wrong that it actually irritates people. And friends, <laughs> you'll get to the point where people avoid you in the right. street. And like I say, you, you also get groups saying like, we, we don't want any of this kind of sales, none of these. And they'll actually list certain names of companies because they, they know what they're used to. Blimey. That's I amazing. So, so the, what you're saying is that they spam, I guess. That, uh, that's yeah? exactly the word. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, so they're spam. So in other words, they're putting lots of messages out there. Like you say, join my team, make an extra income with me, da, 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 da. Which, you know, some people may find interesting at some times, right? Yeah. But there's a, a time and a place for it, I guess. Yeah. And for the majority of people, they don't want to hear that. And if you think of any actual good referrals and marketing techniques, it's people buy from people. They don't want to be sold at. No. no. And the, the biggest thing, the biggest error with that as well is they, they forget that Facebook is social media. Right. It's called social media because people don't go on there to be sold at. Right. They go on there to be sociable yeah. and to interact with their friends and family and look at the cats falling off the chair. And <laughs> I was going to say the cats. Don't the, forget the cats. Don't forget the cats and the pandas going down the slide oh, and, yeah. you know, and wasting away several hours uncontrollably looking at videos and things that they, you know, instead of doing other things that they should be probably doing. Okay. But they go yeah. on there as a bit of escapism. Yeah. And also just to interact with friends and family. They absolutely don't go on there to be sold at. Right. So this is the point. Okay. So what you're saying, so the cog system would help someone or help a business or would help a network marketer or would help a small builder or whatever mm -hmm. to use social media mm -hmm. to get more clients in a way that isn't disrespectful to the people who are reading whatever it is it's that you're doing. It's not off-putting. It's not like a deterrent. It's not repelling. Yeah. And it keeps it social. So it's right. very clever, mm -hmm. if I do so say myself. Well, yeah. <laughs> um, it's uh, very clever that it's actually done in a, a sociable way. Right. Um, quite an uplifting way where it's like more celebratory than being salesy. Okay. So well, this is intriguing me, Lainey. Because oh, good. Th now... I would just assume that if, if you're a, uh, I don't know, a personal trainer or something, let's go with that. Okay. Um, a personal trainer who wants to get more clients, obviously they have some clients and they'd say, don't forget, you know, tell your mates about me and, you know, blah, blah, blah. That's the usual kind of referral. Yes. So how would they give us, come on, give us some juice here. Give, give us some juice. Details exactly. Details so, got you intrigued. Exactly. <laughs> so tell me, I need to know. And so does everybody else. How, get just a quick example. How can they use Facebook to to gain more business without, as you say, repelling people. Okay, so I the, there's a name of a part of a section which is called tag testimonials, Ooh. and it's it's one of the big ones. So it's actually a really juicy little snippet I'm going to give you here. So let's carry on with the personal trainer as a, an example because it's quite a good one. Um, so let's just say the client. I always pick on a, a, an imaginary client called Josephine Blogs. So Joseph, I know her. Do you know her? She's <laughs> rather nice, isn't she? She is, she yeah. is. Yeah, she's not my trainer. <laughs> <laughs> so Josephine Bloggs um, is the client and she's been having personal training for a little while and she's really happy. She feels uh, leaner and fitter and stronger. And let's just say, for example, she rocks up one day to a trainer 
and says, oh my God, I haven't been able to wear these jeans, these skinny jeans for like three years and I got them on last night. I'm so happy. Now the answer there is boom, put that on Facebook and tag me. Oh, right. So, so hmm, yeah. yeah, explain, go on. So then the, there's rules. I'm sorry to sound like a bit of a headmistress, <laughs> but there are major rules. And if you don't follow the rules, there's no point in doing it. Okay. So, I can't stress that enough. Okay. So let's just recap, make sure that we understand that okay. bit first before you hit us with those rules. Okay. Right. So, um, Josephine blogs. Yes. She can now fit into her jeans. Yes. That she's always wanted to wear again. Yes. Yeah. Right. She goes to her tra- her trainer, you. Yes. And says, oh my gosh, Lainey, I can fit into these jeans now. Yeah. And then you say, that's brilliant news. What you've got to do is celebrate that fact. Go onto Facebook, put that down as a post, but make sure that you tag me in that post as well. Yeah. So that w- so everyone knows how you did it. Yeah. Yeah. So the rules are, it's only m- no longer than two sentences. No, easy. So it has to keep it short and sweet. Remember, it's a nice celebration. So I personally usually help a lot of my clients do this because some of them maybe aren't that great on social media. They're not that technical, maybe, or they don't really know what they're doing. Well, it's difficult. It is difficult for a lot of people. And it depends on also your age and the generation that you're attracting because... You know, us over 40s, you know, we've got a set, there's certain limitations that we'll know with certain things and how to do. Yeah, so yeah. if in doubt, if you're if you're quite up on, you know, how to use social media, maybe assist your clients so that the key thing is there's, there's lots of key things. There's rules galore. Right. Um, but once you know the rules are actually really, really simple. It's obvious, in fact. Um, one of the first rules is don't let them go home and do it later because uh, they won't. Right. And it's not because they didn't want to yeah. and they don't have the intention to. It's just they won't. Other things get in the way. Other things automatically get in the way. Of course. Making the dinner, kids, whatever. So do it there and then. And what I tend to do is um, if, they, if they're really bad and they have no idea what to do, is I take the phone from them. I will key in a couple of sentences just say, is, does that sound like you talking with that, you know, and are you happy with that? Yeah. And if they are, then we just send it done. All right. Okay. So the example that Josephine would do in this case would be something like, uh, oh, and the other part to this is it's on her timeline. Yes. So it's her, it's her doing it, not you doing it as a personal trainer. No. It's no, no, her no. doing it. It's got okay. to be Josephine Blogs on Josephine Blogs' own timeline, mm. not in any group or anything like that. It's on her own timeline because you're trying to attract her friends and family. Yes. So she would put out something along the lines of, oh, my God, I'm so happy. Managed to get into my skinny jeans for the first time in three years. Thanks. Elaine Jeannie Williamson, in my case. Yeah. So she would tag my name if right. it was me. And that's it. Zip it. No right. more. Don't do anything else. That is it. Yeah. Not trying. You're not trying to get your clients. You're not trying to get Josephine to sell for you, are you? No, no. You're, you're this actually, is her just celebrating that she's got into yeah, her skinny exactly, jeans. Exactly. It's a celebration and it it's is. actually putting it out there so that people can say, well, well done, done. hun. Yeah, yeah <laughs> exactly that. Yeah. So the rules are she mustn't mention like my brand. Yeah. Um, any products yes. or none of that. It is literally, I've got into my skinny jeans um, and I'm really happy about that. And end of. Yeah. Well, do you know what? Honestly, that's quite refreshing mm-hmm. because you're not actually saying, oh, yeah, I got into my skinny jeans after three years. I'm really happy with that. And please, you, oh, sorry. If you want you, that to you call buy this. this yeah, yeah, exactly. Buy this, that. call that. the opposite of that. Yeah, exactly. I don't know what you mean. Mm. Yeah, that's far fairer isn't yes. it? I think. Yeah. And definitely less salesy. So, okay. So people are probably going to be happy to help. And the, the, the good thing about it is she's probably going to do that anyway. Yeah. Or she would be quite happy to do that because she's really happy. She's in her jeans. So why wouldn't you? So it's, it's, even if I didn't ask her, it's something that was happening anyway, which is why I took the idea is people tend to want to celebrate and put it on Facebook. Mm -hmm. So it's just a nice way to do it. And like I say, it's not mentioning a product or a a brand or a company. You're absolutely not to ask them um, if you want the same, call this number or none of that. It's literally say what you're feeling, how happy Mm -hmm. you are, zip it. Got it. So it's not a recommendation. No. It's not a sales pitch. No. It's none of that jazz. Nope. 
it is just literally a celebration. Yes. And then thanking the person who, who helped you. Yeah, and That's it. obviously they don't know who I am, which no. just leads on to the next part. Ah, <laughs> the next part, eh? Okay. <laughs> so, um, but just before we do that then, are we talking about this working for all social media platforms? Um, well, I'm not, I'm not as up to speed with Instagram as I should be, right. so I can't lie. I'm sure everyone that. can say that, Rainey. Mm. <laughs> um, the reason I am a fan of Facebook is just because of how Facebook works and because I know what I'm doing with that one. Mm. But yes, Instagram would work as well, probably. Um, other things I'm not sure about. I, mm. I So I wouldn't like to say because yeah. I don't know. But obviously, if I was to... Um, be a bit more knowledgeable on them, then I could probably say, yes, actually, it would be congruent yeah. to that too. I'm sure that, I'm sure that it would work. Yeah. You know, if you were going to do like a, a snap on it or something like that, it'd be perfect, I'm you know, sure. little yeah. video in the mirror, you know, that sort of jazz that, that, that people yeah. do. Um, okay. All right. So we could, it's Facebook primarily as far as you're concerned, yes. but they can use it on whatever system they want. Possibly. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Now I can see that you're itching to tell me the next part. Well, there is a um, another bit to the the first part. I mean, if she wanted to um, attach a photo of the skinny jeans, then that's even more visual. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, that's kind of what I I assumed that no, would be the case. No, I mean, right. to be quite honest, a lot of the tag testimonials are just words. Oh. Um, it's okay. literally two sentences. End of. That's it. Yeah. Some people, um, if you wanted to, you could. You could do the the visual with the the picture, yeah. Um, so you can include the picture if you want, but like I say, just be very aware that it's not about selling a product. So no. there mustn't be any sign of any product or brand, um, or or your or your own name that's linked to that. It's just going to be what she's celebrating about. Yeah, sure. So it's one of those mirror shots in the jeans and kind things of, like that. Yeah, yeah you know, a selfie. Called. Yeah. So it's something like that would be that would be fine if you if you wanted to add that as well. Gotcha. And right. then so what happens from that, the other rules to go with that is you would then inform your client of what to do next. So there's no reason for her to not know what happens next. And in the comments, what we're looking for is lots of her friends and family saying, well done, that's amazing, you look great. And hopefully there might be two or three little golden nuggets that would be, oh my God, that's amazing, what's your secret? Right. Or I need some of that, what are you doing? Yeah. Um, you know, or I need to get into my jeans by next month, what, are you, what have you been doing, tell me more. If you do get them... Josephine is then um, guided to just always like every single comment that comes in, and no, don't say anything on right. the co on the post. Okay, so so you don't reveal anything in the post. Yeah, and she, if somebody asks her, she does the very most irritating thing that no one likes is I'll PM you. Okay, so uh, she'll private message you. Private message that irritates the hell out of everyone else on. The post that wants to know, yeah, because they just want to know, yeah. But what we are doing here, the whole purpose of this is we are creating curiosity. So this is like a, you know, you could write that down if you're listening to this. You're creating curiosity. You're not telling them everything. You're building up that curiosity so that they have no choice but to then interact with you. Okay, so this is your client that's doing this for you. Yeah. Though. So there must be something else in this for, for your client to, to, to do You've all this extra always, work for you. always, always got to think what's in it for them. Right. So nobody will do anything for you unless they think to themselves, well, what's in it for me? Well, sure. You've got to be realistic. Yeah. I mean, yeah, well, there are some people that say that they are charitable and altruistic, but I think that True. at the end of the day, yeah, people do want something. Yeah, you're, you're always going to get some, what, what I refer to as raving fans. Yes. <laughs> You've always got some raving fans that will bend over backwards and do anything for you yeah. joyfully because yeah. they want to. But in the long term, like for the majority of people, they want to know what's in it for me. Um, so you need to offer them something. And that's got to be very clear cut, um, which is another part of the referrals um, section of the COGS. You right. need to know what your referral reward is. Okay. So there's actually a thing called a referral reward. There is, ah, yeah. Right. So that would be, so Josephine's going to know that if any new clients come on board and actually start, so it's not just actually getting the, the names and the phone numbers, but if they actually start um, a program, a package, 
in the case of the personal trainer example, if they signed up for so many sessions or a block booking or whatever, that Josephine would then be rewarded with X, Y, or Z. Okay, some sort of freebie. Yeah, it might be she'll she'll get a free session. Right. Um, or she'll get um, a, a, a product or, or a, a, you know, it depends. I depends, suppose it really yeah. depends on the type of business that you're in would yes. depend on the reward. Yeah. Um, so it could be money off of products or to the value of something. Or in the personal training case, the most obvious one would be a free session. Sure. So really, it's it's a little thank you. It's a big thank you. Oh, you big have to make you. it worthwhile. Mm. Nobody's just going to do something for a fiver off because that's rubbish. Yeah. It's got to be juicy. Right. Something that they really want to actually get out of bed and do for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what you mean. That would work better. So, okay. So what, what we've talked about there then is that we're talking about helping your clients, say your client, to celebrate a, a, an achievement, whether that's a new hairstyle, whether it's losing three dress sizes, whether it's, you know, I don't know, winning a competition because you've helped them to, to go from zero to nothing, or, you know, from mm-hmm. nothing to, to something. And helping them to celebrate that whilst at the same time helping them to help you to help more people yes. and to get more business effectively. Yes, exactly that. Okay, right. that's what you mean. And in a nice way as well, without in hassling them. In a very them. nice way. So what you're trying to do is, you know, you're just trying to make it all lighthearted and celebratory and keeping it social for social media. Gotcha. So people are then happy for you and they're interacting with you but at no point do they feel that you're selling anything for them because you're just celebrating something yeah a exactly. success or an achievement yeah. so from that then in the comments if people want to know more then she's instructed to basically say thank you so much i'll pm you and then that's when it goes offline so right. you take it offline into a private message um, or a text message or a phone call whichever you want to and then that's when you also guide her with like what you would say then. This is where you need to know what what your next bit is. So she's got her referral reward. That's something different. That's yeah. what she'll get if, if the person signs up. But she needs to know what you want from her. You need to tell her. And the best thing is if it's something for free. Right. So the easiest way to to give an example is in the personal trainer we'll do that we'll keep with that analogy sure so if for example she takes it offline and she says hi jenny thanks again for your comment um i'm actually doing personal training with elaine williamson even though i'm not a personal trainer <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um uh, i can get you a free taster session if you like right gotcha so it's offering so them something. it's offering something usually for free yeah so it's obviously something of value to them, but you're not selling for them. So it's got, you know, your friends are usually happy to offer them something if they know that's not going to cost them any money. Sure, of course. Yeah, yeah. So it just makes it, again, really nice and easy for them to do because the client isn't going to say, oh, you could do that and it costs like 50 quid. Whereas if it's something for free... Why would you not give that to your friends? No, no, exactly. exactly. Yeah, it's nice. So, it, it, yeah, and, and I'm glad that you said that because we're starting to run out of time now. So we've only got a couple of minutes left. So really, when you're looking at giving a reward or your client giving their friends a reward or just something for free, then it makes a lot of sense to do this. Exactly. Why wouldn't you? Yeah, because you'd feel good giving your friend something for free that's yeah. worked for you. Yeah. Wow. So this really is a win-win situation. Win, 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 win. Yeah, right. Okay, I can see this. I, and I think that we're going to have to discuss this more and you, the, the various other cogs within the cog system. <laughs> I think it's fantastic. It really is. So give us all your contact details so that everyone can, knows how to get in touch with you. So your Facebook and your emails and all that sort of stuff. Okay, so my Facebook name is Elaine Jeannie Williamson because my brand is Life Jeannie. Uh-huh. Um, so Elaine Jeannie Williamson. And my uh, email is Elaine... Um, Lainey the Life Genie at gmail.com. L A I N E Y. Yeah. So, it's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just like just throwing me there. No, sorry. Yeah. Spelling it out there. L A I N E Y G E N I E. Um, yeah, it's Lainey the Life Genie. Lainey the Life. Oh, God. At gmail.com. <laughs> I wish I hadn't started that I now. Know, you, I okay. don't ask now. And do you need phone number? Yeah, or, go for yeah. it. So, the mobile number is 07525. Eight three five six one one. Oh, right. Mm. Okay. So, Lainey, I think we you need to come back. You need to tell us more about this. 
I've got you intrigued now. Haven't you ha- I? you have absolutely. I'm going to go on Facebook in a minute and offer somebody <laughs> a new I don't know pen or something um, <laughs> and see and see what people say. But I think that you know this is going to be fantastic. So Lainey Williamson, the, the life genie herself, Lainey. here in the house, as in they the say. House. Thank you very much for coming in. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. Yeah, no, no. What will you come back again? Absolutely. Brilliant. There's okay. a lot more to tell. Thank you very much. <laughs>